this has been happening quite a bit to me lately that I uh, basically don't delete my videos quickly enough or that I don't save them on my uh, anyhow uh, it happens to me quite a bit that I uh, start making a video and my space runs out because I don't think about making a video I don't plan to make a video I know that I have a couple of videos that are gonna premiere very soon but it doesn't mean that I have a schedule it doesn't mean that I even have an idea for what I'm gonna do next and I like it that way I think that it's good to kind of let things come as they do and I always wonder you know should I do a video again when uh, it breaks up in the middle no I believe the most important thing is to voice what's on my mind and there is no second time there is no you know I used to think I'm gonna do it again and then I don't do it and it's literally like it's been 10 years since I really did a video that I really like and I did recently a few that I actually I was like wow that's pretty cool that actually worked so I'm gonna keep on going with this and see where it all leads me so having said that when I talk to somebody who's blood type A negative it's just all of a sudden uh, it's with RH negative people in general to an extent <clears throat> where the person I'm talking to is not tuning out and I'm not tuning out of the person either I'm not trying to get away I don't feel the desire to get away from that person I actually let go more and more and I speak more and more and I realized that uh, it's much more interesting than watching TV or you know when I was a kid I was super into celebrities man their lives because they seemed so much more interesting and they are more interesting than the lives of the people that I grew up with and I uh, was sort of fixated on that you know there's our life there's their lives and now I realize that uh, it's about the potential of a person that I'm interested in you know and you may never reach or live up to that potential sometimes because you're not interested in it and sometimes because your mind is just taking you some on a different journey but um, the potential really what is your potential? I've been talking about this many, many times. And people who are AI negative, I believe, are often very much underestimated. Because I think that what we lack is the desire to prove ourselves. Um, somebody said A negative people are very vain. I don't think so. I think that uh, there is a desire for recognition because we are not stern like the B negatives that go full force even when they are not always sure about what they are what their foundation is O negatives are very intuitive and very grounded and um, which can lead you know way up there but it can also lead head on towards a brick wall and we are sort of reluctant I think man I think I think actually I always said that being a negative suits women probably better than men and I think that uh, when you look at um, social discomfort in arch negative men I really really uh, know that many of you are arch negative men are doing really really well but some are not and whatever uh, arch negative men tend to not do well with is usually what our other arch negative men have in common and I uh, relate the best to A-negatives, but I also see both the good and the um, unfortunate in myself. And it's very hard sometimes when you see somebody who's also a negative like you, who's really struggling in life, and you say, wow, I, uh, I get it. But um, I'm hoping that building this community will sort of um, open our minds and I don't believe in self-help groups that are based on making money or based on uh, leading to uh, recognition that's not deserved or covering up the lack of help just to look like you have a successful program or something. I believe just that we are able to open each other's eyes. 
um, which happens automatically basically when you connect with people of your own blood group. So if you want to meet people who are also a negative, you can come to Date by Type, which is still free at this time and uh, runs on donations and such. Um, where it doesn't mean you have to come there for dating, it can mean you know you, you can go and, and just look for people that are online and you click the blood type of the people that you wish to find. But anyway, so what's unique about people who are A-negative? Um, yes, we are often underestimated. You see, now I'm out of, out of, out of the program because my video stopped, but uh, I think that we are much stronger than actually uh, we are given credit for. Sometimes that comes out at the wrong times. O-negatives are more immediately immediate. We kind of hold back and often wait for the right time, which can be great. So when uh, the jobs that are, we are usually good at is anything that has to do with mediating and marketing and public relations and, uh, and such, sometimes lawyers too, being a lawyer, uh, we are very expressive, we can do, um, basically, when we believe in something, we believe something is the right way to go, unbelievable energies are set free that we have basically held back on releasing. And playing it safe is sometimes the hurdle, but it can also be a good thing, of course. If you are a negative, I believe it's more important than with even other blood types that you connect with people who are good for you, people who you see eye to eye with, people who you don't have to change for. You know, often in society, being silent is uh, mistaken for agreement or weakness, but you have to choose your battles too. You know, I'm looking at it right now, where I used to be very. <coughs> Like full on, when I see a comment I don't agree with, I will go for it. But now I realize, wow, this is not worth my time. This is worth my time. Because I can actually speak and so can you. You can come to my blog and comment. Maybe I will open the comment in here too. But it is worth my time actually to think before I react. And I also think that I am very thoughtful when something is important to me and um, so I like it when my videos are seen by people because I actually put thought into it. This is a result not just of like um, what I'm thinking about today but what has been on my mind for a very very long time. So there may be a part one, but I mean this is part one but the part two, three I guess because this is now the second video. Um, as I experience life, as we all experience life together. And again, uh, women who are A-negative, I think, have a very... Um, I think it's a very good blood type to have. Unless, you know, you are married to an Rh positive and have pregnancy issues, then, you know... But that's a whole other story. Uh, another story. I think A negatives can make each other very, very happy in relationships. I believe, uh, you know, a friend of mine, she told me that uh, it's just um, magic when you are with another A negative and you suddenly realize you can let go and just be and be cool and the other person is cool with you and actually appreciates in you what usually others have tried to correct because they mistake it for either weakness or mistake it for uncertainty. But what it really is, is that you're lacking the yang to the yin, that is you. So when I, always, when I talk about, for example, high sex drive in Irish negative women, but also a certain passiveness in Irish negative men, more of a sensitivity, more of a desire to get to know somebody, uh, the approaches that are considered extreme by society actually work perfectly when they come together. It's only when somebody you are getting in a relationship with is mistaking your tendencies for something that they have learned to look for 
which is usually weakness. People look for weakness in others. That's unfortunately how society works. And it's refreshing when you are around people who are not looking for that. Uh, I know that I'm not looking for that. I actually try to strengthen the people that I'm around, but I'm not doing that anymore because it just drains you. And it's also seen as a weakness. So, again, when I uh, look for, when I look at men who are a negative, I see that um, many of you are doing really well because you found the right person to be with in life. Or you found a career that you have just decided to, wow, I'm going to give my energy here. Uh, because we have a ton of energy that's hidden. And we sometimes don't even know it, but when we pick the right career, and it doesn't have to be the most profitable offer, but I've also learned that, man, when it feels right, it just is right. And there is, of course, a difference between being AA and AO, where you have the A and the A, or if you carry the O recessively. And that is what I'm going to get to later more, when I talk about when I talk about people who are AB negative, that the uh, recessive part is um, whether or not you have the O makes a big difference. I know people who are AA, and I before I knew that I already said, "Wow, you are so A." Like you are so A, but so straight up A, so extremely A. You are everything A without any variation. And I found out later that she is actually AA. Most people are AO, by the way. Um, just like in Europe, most people are... Well, not most people, but almost half the population is plus minus. So when you add the arch negatives to it, you have, that, you have most people in Europe being either arch negative, minus minus, or plus minus, meaning you arch positive but carry the negative recessively. Um, Coming to think of it, yeah, the majority of people has O either recessively or is blood type O in Europe, right? Should be. Um, the O is what keeps us grounded. And when we lack it, that's when the real A and the real B comes out. And I'm always self-critical about it. You know, uh, the funny thing is a lot of people want whatever their blood type is to be the best. I don't have that trip, you know what I mean? I'm... I'm doing what I'm doing, I'm, I think I'm very um, grounded in that, I think I'm very neutral in that, where I don't uh, do myself a favor making something better or buying into the worse, but rather evaluating it, and then hopefully what I'm saying is going to uh, resonate with many of you guys. And I apologize again for my first video and that it got cut off. I will immediately upload this and from now on delete from, you know, this phone is for recording. Um, yeah, I'm a child of the 80s, man. This, uh, and I'm, I'm super advanced when it comes to technology, but I uh, guess that I need to drop some of the beliefs that I have accumulated or the, the, mis the misconceptions when it comes to filmmaking and making videos but I appreciate all of you watching my videos and uh, if the commenting is going well I'm gonna keep it up especially for the personality type of videos I want you guys to share with me what there is that you have experienced um, correct me when I'm wrong about your life everybody's different so, thank you guys.